back guys to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at five awesome pieces of unique armor and clothing that you can find around the wasteland in Fallout 4. Now this compilation today isn't going to be based around power armor as well as it's not going to be based around armor that you can purchase uh, from certain traders. For those of you who don't know uh, there is actually unique sets of armor that you can find on certain traders around the wasteland and I thought I'd save that to a different video, maybe if you guys want to see that, uh, where I can show you guys where you can find all of the unique armor from traders and exactly, you know, which traders to go to and uh, where you can find those traders and stuff like that. But for this video, it's mainly going to be based around the unique armor and clothing that you can find around the wasteland, as well as through doing certain side missions. So getting straight into this, the first armor piece that we're going to be covering today, it's actually two pieces in one. This is known as the Freefall Leg Armor and I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way that you can actually obtain this and it's probably one of the rarest and most unique pieces of armor uh, that you will find in Fallout 4 with the ability to offer no fall damage to your character which in general is really fun and just great to use in certain situations. Here's a short clip of uh, me jumping off the Trinity Tower and taking no falling damage so this is definitely one for you guys to pick up if you haven't got these already. Now, how you get these is you want to head over to the Mass Fusion building. It's going to be located right here on the map. And as soon as you've entered the building, you want to take a right into the room and you want to pick up this trash can. And you might be saying, you know, why are we picking up a trash can? Well, the reason why you pick this up is because you're going to be doing a little bit of wall climbing or wall gliding. It's essentially a trick on how you can walk on walls and it just makes this whole process so much easier and quicker to actually get to this location. Now, once you've got the trash can, once again, you want to pick it up and hold it in front of you. To do the wall gliding technique, what you want to do is you want to hold it below your feet, exactly as you see me doing here, and you essentially want to back up to the wall that you want to wall climb on. So as you can see, this is me doing it here. Um, and once you're backed up against the wall, simply jump and keep pushing your back against the wall and as you can see, as long as you're still holding the object below your feet, you will start wall gliding or wall climbing up the wall itself. And, and you essentially want to do this exactly where you see me do it there, um, by the elevator to get on top of the elevator, and then eventually on to the next floor with the glass paneling that you can see straight through to the very bottom. And when you're on this floor, you're going to be doing one more big wall climb into the main room itself. So to do that, all you want to do is come to the right side wall of the elevator exactly where you see me going again. And you essentially want to do the same technique again, hold the trash can below your feet, jump and wall climb all the way up this wall until you see yourself passing all the floors. And essentially when you've passed all the floors, uh, you then kind of want to shimmy yourself on to the next wall into the next corner. And if you pretty much just follow exactly where I'm going, you'll eventually make it into this room here. And inside of this room, locked inside of the safe, is exactly where you'll find the free fall leg armor. Of course, you'll find both of them in there. And once again, you can go ahead and apply these to your character straight away, jump straight off the edge with no falling damage whatsoever. Definitely a very good armor piece to have in certain situations. Anyway, coming up next, we have two pieces of armor that can be found on the same side quest. And this side quest is known as the Silver Shroud. To get this quest, you want to head into the good town of Good Neighbor, and when you go to Good Neighbor, you'll essentially pick up the Silver Shroud radio signal. So go ahead and go into your pit boy and have a quick listen to the Silver Shroud radio. Upon doing that, you'll then want to make your way into Memory Den at the back end of Good Neighbor, and inside of Memory Den in one of the side rooms, you'll find somebody known as Kent Connolly. Upon speaking to him, he'll then give you the side quest to pretty much become the Silver Shroud and this will have you go over to a location known as Hubris Comics which is going to be located uh, right here on the map and collect the Silver Shroud suit. Now inside of Hubris Comics, there's quite a few unique items that you can find from Gragnax Axe which you can find um, as soon as you enter the comic store. If you go ahead and look straight to the left uh, inside of a case, you'll find Gragnax Axe. And if you make your way to the very top of the building on a mannequin, you'll find the Silver Shroud suit which of course is a part of the Silver Shroud quest. But also on this top floor, you will also find the unique piece of armor or clothing known as Grognax Costume. So if you go ahead and go into the corner area of the room uh, just before you get to the roof on the cabinet, here is where you'll find the Grognax Costume. This unique piece of clothing in itself offers a plus two to your strength stat as well as plus 20% damage to use for your melee weapons. And in general, it is a fairly awesome looking piece of armor uh, that you can find within Fallout 4. 
But anyway, take him back to the Silver Shroud quest where you'll find the second piece of armor. Now, upon picking up that Silver Shroud suit from the mannequin and reporting back to Kent in Good Neighbor, and uh, pretty much going along with the dialogue and you know going back and forth you'll then become the silver shroud and when that happens he will then give you the armor back and this time it will actually be a lot better as you can see this one has a pretty decent damage resistance stat as well as it reduces damage from humans by 15 percent but in my opinion the best thing about this armor is just the way it looks i think you look like a total badass in this suit and uh, definitely one for you guys to pick up once again if you are one out there who likes to collect all of the unique things in fallout 4. Now for the next piece of armor, this one is fairly simple, I've actually covered this one on the channel before, but this one is known as the mascot head, and this one is more for the novelty of wearing it, just because of how uh, weird and kind of out there it looks, and it's just one of those funny things to wear, um, but it doesn't really offer too much in damage resistance and perks, but once again, uh, definitely a unique piece of armor to obtain in Fallout 4. How you get this is pretty simple, you want to head over to the DB Technical School located right here on the map. Once inside of here, take a left and make your way down into the basement, and inside of the basement you'll come across a guy known as Bosco, and as you can see, Bosco is in fact wearing this mascot head. And as you've probably guessed by now, you will in fact have to kill Bosco to obtain this specific armor piece. So go ahead and kill him, loot him, and then you'll have the awesome looking mask ahead that for whatever reason has a huge gaping hole in the side of it but definitely one out there for the novelty of wearing it and just having it in general as one of the unique armor pieces that you can find and for the final piece today it's actually a hat this time uh, but you get this from completing the last voyage of the uss constitution side mission now how you get this side mission is by going over to this location on the map and uh, roaming around outside you'll find lookout upon speaking to lookout he will then give you the side quest known as the last voyage of the uss constitution now without spoiling too much halfway through actually doing this side quest and completing you know um the quest that it actually tells you to do you'll either be asked to side with iron sides or the raiders now you will need to side with iron sides to get this unique hat Upon siding with Iron Sights and completing the rest of the quest line, this will also offer you as well the broadside rare and unique weapon, uh, which is pretty much a cannonball shooter, which is freaking insane. Um, but once you've completed it and you flick the switch, spoiler alert for this side quest, um, he will end up taking off in the ship and crashing into the top of this building. And this is essentially where the quest ends, but... If you go ahead and go back to where this ship crash landed, uh, you'll find that located on the map as you can see there. And uh, basically to get here, you'll have to go through the uh, bus and then into the building itself. And then when you get to the very top of the building, um, you'll speak to Ironsides again, and he will then give you the little hat that he wears on his head, known as the Lieutenant's Hat. Now, of course, this isn't really a great piece of clothing to get, but nevertheless, it's still fairly unique and will offer one charisma or plus one charisma. And of course, from there, you can also roll around with this pretty weird Lieutenant's Hat on your head if you really want to in Fallout. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. As always, if you do enjoy these compilation type of videos and do want to see more in the future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And be sure to leave some suggestions of what maybe you want to see in the form of a compilation that will help you guys out uh, down in the comment section down below. And I'll probably get around to doing some, you know, once again, uh, if you guys do want to see some more videos maybe similar to this one. But anyway, as always, hope you did enjoy. If you do want to check out the Fallout 4 Season Pass giveaway uh, for the winner's choice or the platform of the winner's choice, uh, you can check the link down in the description down below and that'll tell you exactly how you can enter that. Subscribe if you guys are new around and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.